So everybody, welcome to another episode of the Women Petpreneurs podcast with your host, Mary Oquendo. So this is like the fun series, right? So we're finding all the fun things that other pet professionals do in their free time. And yes, there is such a thing as free time. Am I not correct, Ashley? That sure is right. So um, welcome, Ashley. I appreciate Uh, you. Ashley Sanders is a pool champion. But before we get into that, um, Ashley, how did you get involved in the pet industry? Uh, So probably about 14 or 15 years ago, a friend of mine asked me to be a bather at PetSmart. And so I started there and bathed for six months. And then they sent me to school to become a groomer. And I groomed there for the two-year contract and went off on my own. Yeah, that's pretty much how I got my start. Only mine was Petco. And they were so short-staffed. I started off as a bather. And I don't, I don't think I was there a week. And yeah. The assistant manager comes running in. Um, grooming school starts tomorrow, yes or no? <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Let's let's do this. Yeah. So um this I find there's like a lot of fun. So I put up a request at, on Facebook about tell me some of the fun things you do. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I realize there's so many groomers that are way more interesting than I am. Okay. <laughs> uh, and I was kind of kind of floored by the amount the, the different things that people do for, for fun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So tell me about your hobby. Okay. Call so it a hobby for right now. All right. Yeah, for sure. So I started um, playing pool um, like two years ago, pretty much. Um, I didn't know anything of how to play it, what to do, anything. I just did it to, you know, get out of the house because I'm a homebody. And two years later, I'm a captain of a team and me and my fiance uh, we took our team all the way to Vegas pretty much. And we play in Vegas, August 8th through the 12th for the world championship. Okay. If that's, is that this around the same time as super zoo? I believe so. Oh, well, let me go check those dates. Hold on. Yeah. I was about to say, let me Google it. Let's Google those dates. Okay. No, it's the week before the week before. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So super zoo is actually now the week after that's too bad. So what dates are you competing in super at, at I'm saying it's super zoo in super Vegas. Zoo. <laughs> in Vegas, uh, I fly in on the seventh. We start competing on the eighth. The finals are on the 12th of August. Um, and everything should be covered. It's national coverage. So it'll be on TV and all that good stuff. So, all right. Cause I'm actually going to be on vacation and I hope to like not see a TV. <laughs> What if we streamed the live so you could go back and watch it? Okay. Well, you know, <clears throat> um, post something on your Facebook page and tag. Oh yeah. It. Oh yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go live on Facebook as well on my personal. All right. Um, I have very little experience with pool. All right. Okay. Pool for me, it is just something fun to do while I'm on vacation with my grandkids. If that tells you. Anything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. And, you know, so I take the white ball and I hit another ball. Maybe it goes into the pocket. Correct. Right. Right. Is that the basic? Pretty much. It just depends on if you're going to play, you know, eight ball or nine ball. But yeah, pretty much. All right. So what's the difference between eight and nine ball? So eight ball is you have your stripes and your solids on the board, on the table. And one person is stripes, one person is solids. And the, the clue to that is, is whoever sinks in all of their solids or all of their stripes, then hits the eight ball. The eight ball wins the game, but you have to hit in all your solids or all your stripes first. All right. What's the difference between that and the nine ball? Nine ball is you have nine balls on the table. They're all solids besides the nine because the nine is the money ball. Uh, so you, all your solids are one through eight. So you hit them in order one through eight so in order for you to hit the one ball in you have i mean a two ball in that's in the way of the one you have to hit the one first and then hit the two does that make sense like you can't hit the three ball you have to hit the one fall the one ball in to the pocket before you can go on to the next number so what happens if you hit the two ball in before you hit the one ball in unless the one ball struck the two ball first the two ball is a dead ball 
Okay, so then what happens to a dead ball? I have, I know There's nothing no, about this. No, no, no. The dead ball is just you can't have a point for that ball. In nine okay. ball, in nine ball, you're you're going by points. In eight ball, you go by games. So eight ball, you as a, as a skill level because each section has skill levels. So like I'm a skill level three in eight ball and nine ball. And in eight ball, you can go up to a skill level seven. In nine ball, you could go up to a skill level nine. So it just depends. Like if let's say if I played a, I'm a skill level three. So I have to sink in 25 balls in nine ball. If I played a level four, they have to sink in 31 balls. So it's kind of like a handicap because she's better than me. She should be able to sink more balls in than me. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. So now I'm at the, um, the game room or wherever I'm staying. And then they have a pool table there. Okay? Yeah. So for, let's start off first. Of, what's the difference between that pool table and the pool tables you normally play on? Uh, it just depends. Every pool table is different and you have pool tables and you have billiards tables. Uh, some pool tables are six foot, some are seven, some are eight, some are nine. And some of them are drop pockets. Some of them are coin operated. Just a, there's a whole lot of different pool tables. But is there a difference in quality? I, th I, I Oh, think for sure. For sure. You, the diamond tables are, in my opinion, the best tables. Uh, that's what we play on in Vegas. Uh, they're all seven foot tables, which is completely different than what I play on on my leagues uh, because I play league every Thursday night and those are six and a half foot valley tables in their bar tables. So they're not like super kept up, like as far as the felt, because um, as you play, you know, you get little lints and little balls in your felt, if that makes sense, kind of just like over time what your clothes do and stuff. Um, and so that affects how your ball rolls, if that makes sense. But in Vegas, it's brand new felt. So it is super slick and their tables are seven feet. So then I have to adjust my aim and speed from what I, what I play on normally is a six and a half foot table to reach their seven foot table and their super slick felt. <laughs> do they do they give you time to practice at the um their practice tables are open from 8 a.m to 8 45 every morning oh not but much time for fifteen thousand people and yeah 273 tables is all they have so <laughs> it's gonna be a lot okay S sort of like what us we were going through this morning when i tried to sign up for whatever the the the, the clip in they call it for the rescue thing for at, at groom expo uh-huh and it wasn't up a minute and a half and it was already sold out just gone just just <laughs> gone just gone all right so maybe wow. i might get lucky and get wait listed but you know yeah. i'm not gonna hold my breath for that <laughs> So I'm wondering if I got dig out my, my grooming equipment because it's put away and yep. I just have short coated dogs. I don't need my scissors. Uh huh. So, and then I would have to relearn how to use them. It's been four years. Oh man. I know. How's that retired life? You know what? It's really pretty awesome. Oh man. And you would think, and just to be clear, I'm retired from dog grooming. That's it. <laughs> it's not that whole ton of free time that yeah. I thought I would have that apparently don't have, which, but anyway, we'll get into that another time because my hobby is photography. Oh, wow. Nice. Um, and I haven't had a ton of time for that. You got to make, make time. I got, yes. It makes you happy. You. It makes me happy. Yep. Okay, so yes, I need to make more time for that. Yes. But anyway, all right. Not discussing my hobby. We're discussing your hobby. Okay. So do you have your own pool stick? I do. I have, uh, I have two, I have three pool sticks. Uh, two were given to me and one that I bought. Which one do you like the best? Uh, the McLaren. It is uh, the fanciest stick that I own. <laughs> and at the moment that I started shooting with it, it immediately changed my game immediately. All right. So equipment matters. It does. It's kind of like grooming. You know what I mean? Oh, no, no. I totally get that. For because sure. Because I'm now blaming the crappy table. Oh, yeah. And those, those overused 
pool cues that they have uh -huh. in the game rooms at the hotels, wherever oh, we're yeah. staying. All the way down to the chalk. I don't even buy, I don't, I buy, uh, I, I have a $40 chalk that, and people are like, why did you spend that much money on chalk? And you just, the bar chalk's a dollar. And I'm like, yeah, but this chalk, this chalk they say is awesome. And so I just like use it just because it's awesome. <laughs> I'm like, okay. All right. So while this is going on, are there gonna are you gonna have like vendors and stuff there? Oh yeah. It's kind of like it's kind of like Hershey almost. Like you see all the vendors there and um they'll they'll have uh drawings and they have mini manias as well. So like if you wanted to just uh sign up for just your skill level versus the team that you're going with, you could play just your skill level and you just pay 20 bucks and play all the way up to your skill level and you could win you know two three four five six grand that's nice yeah it's sort of like the jackpot at, at super zill yeah there's over a million dollars in prizes that wow week. wow yeah. yeah so the the top uh because we're going for nine ball so um the top nine ball team goes home with 20 grand okay okay so. all right and so how many people are on your team there's six of us, six of us. Okay. We got in by the skim of our teeth because you have to have five people no matter what. And we lost two of our eight. And so we were just at the six. So we were nervous because, you know, if somebody didn't show up or two people didn't show up, what are you going to do? You know, so we got in to Vegas by the skin of our teeth. <laughs> so where is it being held? It, it, it's at the Westgate in Las Vegas on the Strip. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Are you going to stay for Super Zoo? I won't. No, I have taken off a lot of work this year um, with surgeries and stuff. So I have to come back home and get back to clients. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think that's fun. Oh, Super yeah. Zoo. All right. Have you actually won any money? Yeah. Not not in pool. No, this is this will be actually my first trip to Vegas. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So, All so. right. So <clears throat> how much money have you spent on pool equipment so far? Have you totaled spent. it up? How much um, money have you spent on your on, on just your on just equipment? Well, my two most expensive sticks were given to me. So those uh that takes up a lot of it. And those are together a thousand dollar sticks. Um, but like I said, those are given to me. I spent 60 bucks on a cheap one at Academy and 40 bucks on a pool bag and 40 bucks on a chalk. Um, uh, I would say probably about a total of three or 400 bucks if that. Oh, that's not much. I know. Right. But I, right. but I pay my dues every week. So I have to pay in every week. If I play $7 per game, I play. Okay. maximum of two games per week so 14 dollars a week and then we put we pay 50 cents per game uh into the pool table because they're corn operated okay okay all right because you know a couple hundred bucks i would hate to tell you what i have spent in photography equipment oh yeah i mean that's half of a camera at least I mean, the, yeah, you spent way, way more than I have in your oh hobby. My God. <laughs> yeah, right. And I'm not making any money on it either. Let me tell you. I mean, I have a more expensive hobby, but it, it can it can get bad. So what's your other expensive hobby? I, I like to video game and stream. And so. Oh, yeah. 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 So I just bought a fifteen hundred dollar laptop that runs immaculately and it's only for gaming and so <laughs> which could be a little pricey as well too oh for sure and i cry no i'm not that involved in gaming i oh, like yeah. a couple of the games i have on my phone mm -hmm. and you know what i'll pony up the 10 20 30 dollar things for it and i yep. cry and by the way i cry over that okay yep. Mine's bad because you can just add it to the phone bill and you're like, where'd that come from? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what games do you play? Uh, I pretty much only play Call of Duty. It's a first person shooter game, pretty much a war game. You, it's a battle royale. You go against other teams and you try to be the last team standing. Okay. My husband used to do Halo. 
Oh yeah. It's pretty much like Halo. It's just a different scene. Yeah. And he's no longer allowed to play that in the bedroom. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Any games he plays, he has to play out in the living room. He cannot because he was playing Halo in the bedroom and had the big screen TV going. Yeah. And I could sleep with any noise. That noise doesn't bother me. Light doesn't bother me. I can fall asleep. The only thing is, because he was playing in the bedroom, I was dreaming about Halo. Wow. Yeah, that's not fun. I, I mean, <laughs> it's one thing being on the other side of the console, but if you're like actually in the game, I mean, there were like shades of Tron going on here. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I remember being in the game thinking, if I come across him in the game, I'm going to kill him. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And I woke up and I smacked him. I said, if you ever, <laughs> ever play this game again while I am trying to sleep, I will kill you. <laughs> the discussion. So That's his games it. are now, and he doesn't play Halo anymore, which is, which is fine by me. Yeah. But yeah. So, yeah. So I stream all my games online uh, for other viewers to see. I streamed on Facebook for a long time uh, and I had like 300 followers. And then I just switched to a different platform called Kick. Um, where I where I started completely over probably a couple months ago and I have like 78 followers which monetizes me which is great um, and then that's always fun because I go to the gaming conventions as well so okay so um, <clears throat> I have not been to a gaming convention yet um, I would like to go to one of the comic cons which I haven't been oh, to. oh yeah before. uh we have here in Port Angeles something called Sasquatch con mm-hmm and I think it's going on during Hershey. Oh, uh, yeah. Or one of them, maybe it's going on during this, but it's local, like in Port Angeles is like- Dang, right down the street. Literally right down the street from me. Okay? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I've passed by conventions. I've been in town when the conventions, some conventions been going on somewhere, and I, but I've never been to one. So that's kind mm -hmm. of on my bucket list to hit a Comic-Con. Oh yeah, that's super fun. Uh, All right, so how much, how much money can you spend at, at a gaming convention? I normally don't spend. I normally try to socialize with other streamers to try to get my name out there. Um, and I always take my controller and get famous streamers to sign it. So, Oh, okay. All right, so then what's the point of streaming? Um, you just build a community, um, pretty much. It, I mean, it monetizes you, your community basically, I guess, quote unquote, tips you, uh, you have subscribers. So every month, you know, people pay you five bucks a month to subscribe to you. And like, uh, there's one streamer that has, um, 17,000 subscribers every oh, month. On. Let's do some math here. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm like, <laughs> I want to be that guy. But I'll never, I don't think I'll ever be that guy. 17,000 times five bucks. Five bucks. He's making 85. Monthly. He's making $85,000 a month. But that's just on subscribers. That's not even people who send like tips or stars as what Facebook calls it. Okay. Or, but I'm here stuck now on yep. $85,000 yep. a month yep. times that by 12. <laughs> yep. He's Making over a million dollars a year playing uh, games. I'm trying to shoot my shot, you know, like. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So, maybe I, maybe I stopped my husband too soon from playing. Yeah. Games. Yeah. You need to go get him a camera and a stream set up and, and just let him play and just stream and make money. Just like he'll never know. <laughs> just play the game, honey. Just play. Yep, the game. Exactly. All right. Now, now I have something to think about, there but you, you know what, back to the original pool. All right. So my brother played pool. Yeah. He had a pool table in his bedroom, how he got it into the bedroom. I have no idea. Okay. Because the house that I grew up in was a two story, um, like a colonial mm -hmm. stairs were narrow and they, they curved. Ooh. How he got a pool table into his room without like lifting off the roof and dumping, dumping it in. <laughs> I don't know. Was, was it a slate table? I don't know. 
because they're they they have pool tables that are not slate that are really easy to carry it's the slate tables that take three or four dudes to lift them i don't know because one day was there i mean it wasn't there and the next day it was there and it's like how'd you get a pool table in your room (laughs) (laughs) and the only reason i particularly noticed it now let's go all the way back to like late 60s or early 70s probably no probably about mid 70s yeah Mm -hmm. about mid 70s and horror movies were way different. We weren't okay. desensitized yet. Okay. And I watched a movie called The House on Haunted Hill, the original. Wow. Okay. And I ended up sleeping on his pool table that night because I was terrified to sleep in my own room because, <laughs> and for those of you who remember the original, okay, there was a scene in which a leaf plastered itself a wet like it was raining outside and a leaf plastered itself against the window well i tried to go to sleep that night it was raining and a leaf plastered itself uh-huh. on my window i'd have left too yeah i was, I was not sleeping in my room i'm out <laughs> i'm just gonna go sleep in my brother's room and the only place he had to sleep was the pool table nice yeah so um Yes, yeah, so like I said, I don't have much much experience on ex- with that except for playing with my grandkids. So that's right. pretty amazing. That's pretty amazing. Mm-hmm. Thank where, you. where would you like to see yourself go with? Um, I know where you want to go with the gaming. I want. I know you want to <laughs> right five thousand dollars. Yes, a month. a month, please. Okay. Um, and so where do you want to see yourself with the pool? Honestly, I'm trying to level my skill up right now. Um, I, like I said, I had no clue we were going to even make it to Vegas. I didn't expect us to. Um, We just kept winning and we just had an amazing season. And so my goal right now is to get to a skill level four to a skill level five. Um, I just can't work on that yet because how the rules are when you go to a competition this large as a team you can own you cannot have a you cannot have more than two skill levels jump or you're disqualified so if i keep trying super hard to go become a four i could disqualify my team from vegas before we get there because i jumped the skill level oh okay so but once that's over then you can jump a skill level Yes. When you go to Vegas, at whatever skill level that you go to, you cannot go any lower than that for three years. Really? Yes, ma'am. Because it's a high skill level tournament. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So what are your hopes for, for this, for the competition in Vegas? Um, honestly, I, I'll tell you what I told my team. Win or lose, let's just go have fun. You know, like, I hope what my team makes it for sure. But if we go and we lose the second day, I'll be just so proud of my team either way. So we're there for seven days either way. <laughs> All right. So you said, was it, is it your boyfriend or your husband? Uh, my fiance is, is uh, my was soon to be wife. Okay. So you're, I'm sorry. So your wife. Okay. Is on is on your team or your soon to be wife? Did you meet her on the team or did you drag her over there? I drag her over. I was like, okay. "Come on, we need a player. We need a sucky player. <laughs> <laughs> we needed lower skill levels." So we, I was like, "We need you to to join the team and just do you go out there and shoot whatever ball you want." <laughs> okay. All right. So that would sort of be if somebody wanted me on their team is because they were looking for someone lower skill level. Yes. Yes. Especially a nine ball, because you enter in as a a skill level one, which they call unicorns in the pool pool game. All right. So why are we called unicorns? Uh, Skill level ones are unicorns because you only have to make 14 balls. And so it is, you have the least amount of balls to make out of anyone. So if, let's say if the other team puts up a skill level um, nine, right? 
in this is how I would play in Vegas because in Vegas you have to play like down and dirty right so if if somebody throws up a nine and nine ball I'm gonna throw my one out there because I have a unicorn and my one has to make 14 balls when that nine has to make 75 balls oh okay that's a unicorn <laughs> okay so what happens if your unicorn can't make 14 balls? Because I'm pretty That's sure. Okay. That's okay. Because uh, she, the, the unicorn is going to make at least half of those balls between, you know, the time that she, she starts and then the nine finishes are off. Right. So she's going to gain points for the team either way. Okay. And then you, what you like for your ones is in nine ball, once you re reach three and a half hours uh, as a team playing, which is like your basically your last set of games you're going to play, they go into a sudden death round. Okay. And sudden, sudden death means that you, all your points are doubled. And so therefore a one only has to make seven balls versus the 14. And normally when you sudden death happens, it's at the end of the game where you've gained 40 something points and your, your goal is to reach 50 points no matter what. And so if my one is in sudden death and all points are doubled, technically she'll only have to make three or four balls and we win the game. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's all strategic, but... <laughs> Okay, that's good to know. Um, and no, I'm going to tell everyone right now, you don't want me on, even as a unicorn on you. <laughs> You'd be surprised. All right, you know what? Um, I'm going on vacation with my, my, my grandkids, and I know there's a pool table there because we've been there before. And you know what? I will tell you how many balls I get on okay. that trip. All right? Okay. Um, yeah, you're not going to be impressed. <laughs> Well, I hope uh, if if you if you see it live, you you can just look for the under construction shirts. These here. Okay. All right. So you have team names then? I, then oh I yeah. They, oh yeah. These are our jerseys here. All right. So those who are watching, who are listening, and now watching the YouTube, it's a very nice T-shirt. It's gray and yellow. It says under construction, and you know it's got those dots on it that looks like the um, oh the squeaks. <laughs> oh yeah that's my nickname squeaks <laughs> okay cool you know i wish you a lot of luck with this i think this is going to be fun thank uh, you i really hope you make eighty five thousand dollars a month gaming. i hope i hope <laughs> um so how many subscribers do you have um subscriber i just opened subscribers on kick so I just opened monetization. So I'm waiting for the first one to subscribe. Right. Okay. So Ashley needs subscribers. <laughs> yes. All right. So how would someone subscribe? Um, so I stream on kick. Uh, they would just download kick. It's an app that's available on iOS and Android. Um, K I C K. It's a gaming app. Uh, you sign up for free and create an account and my, uh, profile is it's the real squeaks um and that's it you just go there and you could subscribe and follow there okay good to know good to know all right so we need to get ashley up to 85 i'm i'm just blown yes. away by that okay yes hey i'll put the link in the in the description <laughs> I send, send, send me the link in i will write down so that i can put it in the description Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Right. Ma All right. So um, I, I wish you well at the convention. I Thank hope you. your team kicks ass. Yes. I, I hope you bring that $20,000 home. And I really hope that you get $17,000, 17,000 subscribers. Actually, oh I think my you goodness. should get more. You should have yes. 20, You should have 25. 20, 25, 25,000 yes. 25, subscribers. Okay. Yes. That's the goal. So let's, let's set up Ashley for life. Yes, please do. Y'all, even if you just come in and visit and chit chat, that helps the stream grow. Okay. Very cool. So yep. Ashley, 
Um, thank you so much for taking time out of your day. I really appreciate oh, you being sure. here. Um, I think your hobbies are amazing. Thank you. Okay. Um, and I hope you to make, and I hope to make money on my, my hobby someday too. Yes. I'm at this point, not holding my breath. And for the amount of money I have spent on photography equipment, I'd have to make some, some decent money to like break even. Well, you could as many shows as you go to, you know, when they do the grooming on it, you could, you know, start taking professional pictures and I don't want to take pictures of them. I don't oh. no, that's like not, right. not my jam. Okay. Well, birds and trees and birds and trees and icebergs yeah. and you know, that sort of and butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> Your friends know what they're getting for Christmas from me. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> well, All I right. appreciate you having me on here. No, thank you for taking time out of your day. So everybody join yes, me next week when I interview another fascinating groomer um, and their hobby.